Hello everyone, my name is Holden Hardman. This is my lovely wife, Jen. Today we're getting caught up on some of the trailers that we've missed over the last few weeks and months. This movie is called Monkey Man. I have not even heard of it. I do know that Jordan Peele is producing it from the thumbnail of the video. I have really been enjoying Jordan Peele's horror Same. lately. I think that he's he's been one of the pioneers of modern horror along with Bloomhouse. He's not directing this one, but he is producing it. So I'm really excited to see what he produces, I, You know, especially with no context. What do you think? I also have never heard of this, but um, seeing Jordan Peele's name attached to this project is what piqued my interest because I loved Get Out and I loved Nope. They were both wildly creative. They were both very uh, shocking in their own right, unpredictable, and that's right up my alley. So I'm curious to see what this one's about. Yeah, and you haven't seen Us yet either. That was his one he did between Get Out and Nope. Mm -hmm. Uh, he's, he's very, very unique horror. Like all of his stories are very original. I think that's something, especially in the modern age of sequels and prequels and continuations and adaptations that we could use more of. And Jordan Peele is one of the few that is that can actually get a budget from a studio to allow him to do that. So let's check out Monkey Man. Close your eyes and you will find yourself. When I was a boy, my mother used to tell me a story of a demon king and his army. They brought fire and terror to the land until they faced the protector of the people, the white monkey. Monkey King, this is what Dragon Ball is based off of loosely. There you are. Journey to the West. You are a beast. <laughs> In this city, the rich don't see us as people. Give me the job no one wants to do. I'll do it. Anyone who forgets their place doesn't turn out well for them. This is not the place to work if you can't handle that sort of stuff. I like how he was Zuko in the M. Night Shyamalan mm. Avatar. A way to protect the weak. I've got an answer to every prayer. I call her Nikki. Minaj! Big bumper? <laughs> <laughs> Let's boogie! Oh. oh. One, young, two, two, one, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. We need to fight for your mother, for all of us. Anger will not quiet your soul, my son. Don't call me son. <laughs> it's time to remember who you sure are. But only love kills more when will they learn? Just one small ember can burn down everything. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for a fight? <laughs> oh. Yeah. All right, okay. That looks like a lot of fun. It, it's not the horror that I was expecting. Yeah, it, that's what I thought. It, Jordan Peele, he also does a lot of comedy. I mean, that's what he was more known for before he was doing the horror stuff. So it's fun I, to see some of those comedy elements coming into what appears to be an action movie. I, I don't know if this is directly based off of Journey to the West, The Monkey King, or if this is an Indian story that's very similar. Either way, it looks 
great. And it looks like action, comedy, kind of mixed. We don't really see a whole lot of action comedy anymore. Yeah. It's a genre that's kind of died off. Jackie Chan was really leading the way for that, ending sort of in the early 2000s with some of the Rush Hour movies, these Americanized kung fu movies. So I'm hoping that this is gonna be a fun action comedy. Uh, what did you think? I feel like sometimes I can be picky on action movies. It really has to have like an appropriate ratio of like action to whatever the other storylines are going on or other emotions that are going on in the movie. I don't know if this movie would be up my alley, but I will say that the comedy moments in that trailer were great. So I, I don't know if it's up my alley, but um, I, I would see it and check it out and see what it's about. This would probably be up my alley a little more. I love that action type of stuff. The subverting the expectation where he's about to jump through the window is so- Yeah, that was we, pretty funny. We see that so many times in movies. It's become a modern trope. So to see them clown on it is is great. Yeah. Def Patel, I don't know if I've seen him direct anything, but he's the lead actor in it. So he's the oh, he's, okay. he's the main guy. So uh, he he's wonderful too. Did you ever watch Slumdog Millionaire with him? Mm. That's a really, really good one too. We do need to watch that at some point. But anyway, these are just some of our thoughts on this one. We'd love to know what you guys think down in the comments below. So leave us a comment down below. We'll check those out. But for now, that is it. Jen and I appreciate you watching. We'll catch you in the next video, everyone. Take care.